share this channel on the internet.
Well, yep, everybody's having some fun in the sun early in the ride. And like you can see, the day looks pretty good because there's barely any clouds in the sky and also the wind is five miles or less because yesterday in the late afternoon, the winds fell like 25 to 30 miles an hour. But today, nope, none of that. Just a smooth ride, baby. And by the way, it was pretty cool talking to everybody on the Monday live stream and thank you for joining me. And we have reached the miserable mile. And well, the bull traffic here on the miserable mile looks pretty busy. I guess everybody's taking advantage of the beautiful day. And the more we drove through the miserable mile, the more boats we saw. And there was also a few boaters hanging out at that sandbar island miserable mile. And we're out of the miserable mile and heading south towards Punta Raza Bridge. That, by the way, they're still working on the parking lot at the marina. And we're cruising down south. We're passing right in front of Fort Myers Beach. But we noticed this guy here fishing. And there was a lot of action around him. So we decided to stop and check it out ourselves. Because Fakito brought a few fishing rods just in case. But to our surprise, it wasn't a big fish. It was schools of sardines jumping around everywhere. You're gonna miss them all, man. Come on. You're, you're messing it up for me. Go back. No, oh, they're everywhere. Okay, okay, so Fraquito needs more practicing with the cast netting, but we decided to test our luck right with the hook and see what happens, because we figured the sardines are being chased by something. Okay, so there was no luck with the hook nor the net, so we decided to pick up and keep heading our way, but it was nice to see a lot of sardines jumping around, because that means the fish are back, and the surf is giving us a perfect comfortable ride. Well, and a few people have been asking me how do I see the real estate market around Fort Myers and Cape Coral. And honestly, I'm very surprised because I thought the housing market was going to go down in price. And it did, but it was a very small percentage. The only thing I'm noticing is the houses are taking longer to sell. And that is due to the higher percentage rate on the loans. And also the tourism, even though there's a lot of places that still damaged from the hurricane, people are coming back and enjoying the beaches. Like you see here while we're riding by Fort Myers Beach. Yep, the video's a little shaky, but it's kind of hard recording and traveling about 30 miles an hour on the boat. And here's the Fort Myers fishing pier that I think they're leaving that for last, but Margaritaville is going pretty fast. I think they're almost done because they're already getting the building painted. And once they're completely finished, I'm gonna stop by and film it and show you guys. And even though there's a lot of people here at the beach, we're not gonna stop, we're gonna keep going down south. And if you're wondering where we're going, we're heading down south to another local spot slash island sandbar where you could bring your best friend. It is about a 14 mile run from Punta Raza. 
bridge and i know that seems long but we're so used to it that it seems pretty close and it should take us like 20 to 25 minutes and to us the boat ride is part of the adventure and i know we could trade the boat to the nearest boat ramp where we're gonna go visit but we enjoy more the ride on the water especially when you got perfect conditions like today And we're getting closer because we can see it right ahead of us. And this is a very popular island or key known as Lover's Key. But we're gonna go to the south side where it's known as Dog Beach because we brought Asuka with us to see how she interacts with other dogs. And also the hurricane came through here so we don't know what to expect because we haven't been back since then. And as soon as we cut into the channel, we were very surprised because things looked pretty normal and there was a lot of boaters here. Well, this is different and surprising. Somebody was playing the music really loud on the boat. It was starting to feel like I was pulling up into a Miami island. And it was nice to see the local boaters enjoying their day here at Lover's Key because they have been through a lot with this hurricane that everybody's hoping that it never happens again. And it took a little while to find an opening on the sand, but we did and we pulled up. And even though the hurricane went through here and messed up a lot of the trees and shifted around the sand a little bit, everything looked pretty normal and the sand was perfect with the water temperature too. And yes, I have to say it. Look guys, clear water. And look at this. I didn't notice I almost jumped on top of a snook until I edited the video. And I guess he was surprised just like me. But I think he was pretty brave being so close to the boats. Yeah. Water's perfect. Yeah. Is it cold? You want to see the water clear over there? Is it over there? Like on that side over there? It is awesome. Loving it. Oh, over there? Alright, let's go over there. Come on, Azuka. Azuka. Let's go. Come on. Mommy. Come on, Azuka. She's not going to jump. Mama. Get her. Come on, Mama. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, she did it. And like you notice, Azuka is already wet because as soon as we pulled up, she jumped in the water. Yep, she's a crazy dog. And finally, we made it here after a 14 mile run to Lover's Key, South Side, known to the locals as Dog Lover's Key or Dog Beach. And like you can see, it is pretty amazing here and we're gonna enjoy it. But that's coming up in part two. And you know what else is coming in part two? Well, you know what's coming, right? Food time, baby. And also, Ogita and Asuka went exploring around the sandbar and for the Quito did a little bit of fishing. And also you're going to be able to see why this beach is so popular to the local dogs. And yes the ride here was about an hour and 30 minutes but I think it was worth it because this place is amazing and you can bring your pet like you're going to see in part 2 so make sure your notifications are turned on so you won't miss it.